That's not a poem. That's a picture of a dinosaur. Uh, I wrote this about five minutes ago, so you might have to give me a... Um, <laughs> don't give me a hard time about the rhythm scheme. Uh, and I'm going to start with a Bible verse. If you know me, you might think that's pretty weird, but it's a little bit ironic. So, uh, The title of this poem is, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves, Matthew 7.15. Enter, stage right, your so-called spiritual leader, white robes, eyes bright, his mind walled, his heart meager. Says he, celebrate not your pride in this month, for it is one of the seven deadly sins. And yet he and his faithful flock, on the other six, they're mysteriously silent. So let us list them now and consider if the self-proclaimed holy practice what they preach. Cast aside your greed, says the oil baron, whose soul is black like Texas crude. Lay aside your lust, says the man who paid hush money to a porn star. Do away with your gluttony, bellows the man who was convicted of defrauding a charity for starving children. Do not give in to sloth, says the man with soft, uncalloused hands who was born a millionaire. Close your eyes to envy, says the man with green eyes, drinking champagne in a private jet yet burns with hate for his neighbor whose net worth is 5% higher than his. Have no wrath in your heart, says the man whose tie is red like blood, who calls for violence when he can't win a fair contest. And finally, live not in pride, says the man who lives in a golden palace and stamps his name on buildings and on airplanes and on the bitter, angry hearts of his followers. Unless your pride is white pride, Christian pride, then that's totally fine. So if any of that makes sense to you, then I guess you know who to vote for? Because clearly you have access to some alchemy, some philosopher's stone unknown to me that transmutes lead into gold and hate somehow into love. <laughs>